What's up, guys? It's Ryan from RNA Music. Yeah. So I'm going to continue with my little series on scales and modes and theory made easy. There's been uh, some positive response to that, so we're going to continue right along. If you haven't seen um, part one and part two, where I explain uh, the major scale, uh, we're doing the positions of the G major scale and their relative modes. Go check those out right now, number one and number two. All right, this is gonna be part three. So, here we go. part one, we talked about the G major, first position of the G major diatonic scale. Starting on the third fret, in um, part two, we continued on with what I call the second position of the G major scale because we started on the second note which is an A and then I gave you the fingering positions for that second position of the G major scale which is also the uh, relative mode which would be a Dorian right so go back and review those today we're going to continue on with third position of the G major scale I'll show you that and it is going to start note of the G major scale which is a B so we're gonna go up to seventh fret sixth string start on this B again we're still using the notes from G major G A B C D E F sharp and G but now we're just gonna start on B there you go so here we are we start on the seventh fret sixth string first finger we're going to go to the eighth fret and we use our second finger tenth fret fourth finger okay then we change the fifth string seventh fret first finger ninth fret third finger tenth fret with your fourth finger we continue to the fourth string with that exact same shape, this shape. Seventh fret, fourth string. Ninth fret. Tenth fret. Okay. Then we change to the third string. Also seventh fret. Ninth fret. Eleven. So this is where this little hand shape comes in. If you don't understand these little hand shapes, go back and watch video one right now. So that was third string, seventh fret, ninth, eleven. Now we're actually going to use this exact same finger shape for string two and string one, but because of the uh, tuning between the third and second string, we have to shift. So now we're going to shift this. Put your first finger on the 8th fret, 2nd string, 10th fret, 12th fret. Change to the 1st string, and we're going to just double what we just did. 8th fret, 10th fret, and we end on the 12th fret. Okay? So... Let me come closer. Going backwards. I 
hit a wrong note. That's what I get for zoning out. Sorry. <laughs> was the third position of the G major scale. Starting on the third note of the G major scale, which is a B. Okay, so there it was. If you wanted to play um, some G major, G Ionian stuff, you could go to that position right there. And use that. Now, so let's talk about its relative So those are the notes of the G major. Now, what that's related to mode-wise is if we use this B, 7th fret B, as the focus or tonal center of this little scale pattern, we would have a, um, a Phrygian scale. That would be B Phrygian, which has sort of a, a minor Spanish kind of flavor to it. Let's turn off the delay, shall we? Thank you, boss. So there you have it. G Ionian or G major. Um, the notes G, A, B, C, D, E, F sharp. Those are the notes of G Ionian. Those are also the notes of A Dorian. Those are also the notes of B Phrygian. B Phrygian goes B, C, D, E, F sharp, G, A, and then B. <laughs> G major, G Ionian, is also would be related to B Phrygian. Now, conversely, you could use first position of the G major scale. To play B Phrygian. What would make it sound Phrygian is if you skill if you emphasize the B in this particular scale pattern position 1 G major we have G A B um, so you emphasize that note the relationships of the whole steps and half steps or tones and semitones um, involved between the the Phrygian scale. There you go. So you could actually, if you're playing to a backing track that was in B Phrygian, you could use this first position G Ionian, second position of G Ionian. <laughs> position of the B.
So hopefully that makes sense. If not, please uh, ask me any questions in the comment section below this video. Leave your comments, ask questions. I'll try to explain as best I can to uh, help you out. <clears throat> so what gives it the flavor of those modes uh, is which note you accent, obviously, but if you're... Um, what's going on underneath it also makes a big difference too. So, for example, I've got my little Jam Man loop pedal here, and uh, I just set it up to play a G chord kind of over and over. And so if there's a G going on in the background as a chord or even just as a root note, if you could drone that note somehow, then these scales are going to sound, no matter what position I'm in, they're going to sound like uh, the G major over that because that's what our ear is picking up as the kind of the background tone center. So I'll demonstrate that very quickly as best as I can. So here's a G major chord. position I played it sounded G majory right because we had that G um, chord droning in the background now <clears throat> let's show you what happens if I played an A minor chord in the background and use those same shapes you're gonna see how it now sounds more minory that'll sound like a Dorian kind of flavor check it out
So, uh, depending on what note you emphasize, will kind of bring out that certain flavor of the mode. But what's going on in the background makes a huge difference too, because that's what our ear is measuring the distance between the intervals we're playing up against that background, uh, either a drone note or a chord or whatever. So, now that was, I'm playing this G major. First I play the G major, these three positions of G major over a G chord, so it sounded like G major. I played these three positions over an A minor chord, which gave you that Dorian kind of flavor. And then uh, now I'm gonna play these three major positions over a B minor chord, which will give you that sort of Phrygian tonality. No matter which one of those shapes I use, because there's a B going on in the background from my lovely Jet City amp, it's gonna sound Phrygian. Check it out. shapes now to kind of run back and forth through. You could also, depending on what your tonal center is that you choose, depending on what your background uh, music is, you could also play Dorian in three shapes. You can also play B Phrygian in three shapes. So, if you have any questions, leave me a comment below and uh, please subscribe if you're enjoying the videos. And we'll talk to you soon. This has been Ryan from Arnie Music. Keep the music alive.